guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to be showing you an exciting trick or way you can easily change your background to something more beautiful like this this particular background is fake it's not a real background so how did i do it so let's dive right in all right to change your background the first thing you want to do is to ensure that you have the image you want to use so you can quickly go to free peak to search for any background image of your choice that you're going to use if you don't find anyone from free peak you can check on splash and um, pixabay they pretty much render almost the same kind of image but you see beautiful backgrounds that you can pretty much use and then i think these days most of these uh, photo platforms now have ai added to their to set so you can easily use the ai to search for any background you are looking for and another beautiful tool you can use is lunado ai so you can easily put um your prompts for it to generate background images for you as you can see these are images i have generated with the prompts i have so i'm going to drop i'm going to add it in the description in case you are finding difficult to uh, get what prompt to give to the ai so after that, the next thing you want to ensure is to make sure that you have your CapCut installed. So CapCut comes in both desktop, web, and mobile versions. So for this tutorial, I'm using the mobile, the desktop version on my Mac. So if you, if I go to CapCut, so I already have a project open. So the next thing I want to do is to import the background and the image i want to use so i have these on my desktop so i'm just going to import them now so the next thing i want to do is to bring the video down to the time timeline and also the image so i want to put the the video on top so if you are doing this on mobile the it's almost the same but it's a little bit different so but on desktop I, you know, on mobile, I think there's something called overlay there, but on desktop, you don't get to see overlay. So what you do is to ensure that the item that you want to be on top is on top on the frame, on the timeline. So yeah, uh, as you can see, this image is short. It's not equal to the length of the video. So what you do is to stretch it and ensure that they are on the same level. So right now, if I click on this image, as you can see, the image it's not showing because our video has background there's still background on our video and this is the current size of the image the image is just a small square so we need to do something to make it fit into the size of our video so what do we do i think the first thing we need to do first is to cut out the background out of our video so currently our video have a white background so what I want to do now is to cut this background out of it using cutout. You go to the, your, the right hand side on that video after the basic QC cutout and then you click on auto cutout. So that's going to automatically remove the background. So right now this image, this video is transparent. So, but our background image is not fitting into our, our frame. So what we're going to do is to stretch it so you can stretch it this way till it properly fits in. So now that we have this, if you play now, you see everything is looking okay. But there are still some things you can do to make things even more perfect or more beautiful. So you can use the filter to, to add any filter of your choice. So maybe for this, we could use um, this. We, we could use this effect so this is what we get using that effect so i don't think i like that so we can use focus yeah so this focus looks good so what focus uh, feature does is it's um it makes the background a little bit blurred so that you can focus on the video so we can drag it down and then stretch it so that we are putting it on the video also ensure that it is on the same level and i think the easiest way for you to achieve that is to just clip both of them like clip the video and the background together create compound clips so that they are together 
you can easily like move them around together well, when you want to work with them individually you can double tap or you can on click so right now we have the effects that we want we also have our image and our video together so now let's preview let's see what we have so this is our preview i believe you you understood what i've done so this is pretty much what you do when trying to change your background so you can use any background of your choice and recently i found out that with the ai too you don't really need to go out of this platform to search for image you can also put in your prompts here and it's also going to generate some beautiful backgrounds for you so maybe in later videos i, I we could look at some of the beautiful features other features that can make your your videos pop thank you for watching to this point and please do wait to like this video and also subscribe to my channel it will really mean a lot to me and thank you in advance for doing that and i will see you next time bye for now